Hey friends, my name is Scott. Welcome back to the Bald Booktuber. Today we're going to be doing a tag video. Uh, my friend Kyle over at Red by Kyle tagged me. Uh, thanks Kyle, you had some nice words to say. I appreciate it. Uh, it's May 23rd today and we're doing the quarter year crisis book tag. So this is only about two months late. So uh, right on target. So uh, we're going to talk about my first really a third of the month, more than that at this point, and uh, we'll just take it away from there. So book, uh, book question one is, how many books have you read so far this year? Uh, I'm at 39 and counting, um, so it's been a relatively productive year so far. Uh, my Goodreads goal is 80, and I'm ahead of that, so should be in pretty good shape. Question two, have you already found a book you think might be a 2022 favorite? Uh, if not, what was your favorite book you read that wasn't quite five stars? Well, as you know, if you've read my channel, I, I give out Stanley nods like they're candy and they're going out of style. So, uh, I've had plenty of five star books. Uh, my favorite, uh, so far this year, uh, I read last month and that's Wizard Glass. That is, uh, Dark Tower book four. Um, I know it's not a universally loved book, but I loved it, um, it's my favorite in the series so far, a series I'm loving, and it's been my favorite book of the year thus far. Should be a strong uh, contender for book of the year for 2022, so that's my choice there. Question three, what is your least favorite book you've read in 2022 so far? This is also very, very easy. Uh, this is a nonfiction book uh, called Hype by Gabrielle Bluestone. Uh, this was one Stanley nod. Uh, really, I wanted to rate it zero. Uh, almost as bad as the 2022 Chicago Cubs, and that should not be possible. Uh, nothing should be that bad uh, ever. Um, as chess grandmaster Benjamin Feingold would say, the truth hurts. So uh, maybe others would enjoy this. It is, uh, she's a journalist and she covered the Fire Festival, uh, which was obviously a scam. She covered the Theranos uh, organization, which was a scam. And the whole book uh, was her basically writing in text message format, isn't this awful? And, and every time it was, yeah, that, that's awful. So not a good book. Um, maybe other people enjoyed it. I'm sure her mom uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, okay. Question four, uh, what is your most read genre so far this year? And I've actually read fairly widely. Um, if we consider Dark Tower to be a fantasy series, and I have been considering it that way, primarily because I want it to make my next top 10 fantasy uh, series uh, list. Um, and we consider uh, Kingdoms of Death by Christopher Rocchio to be also... Um, a fantasy story, which again I do. Um, it'd be 12 fantasy books, uh, which is the most read. Uh, I've read 10 sci fi, uh, 8 nonfiction, uh, 4 horror, uh, 3 literary fiction, and 2 thrillers. So, relatively wide range, uh, which is good. I'm enjoying uh, a little bit of a varied approach. All right, question five. What is a book you've read in 2022 that surprised you? Um, this one I'm going with uh, a book called Seven Games by Oliver Roeder. Uh, I read this, I think, back in January or February. I think it was January. Um, and I read it as an advanced reader copy uh, via audio uh, through NetGalley. Um, it basically covers seven very classic board and or card games um and it was five stanley nods for me um i'm a very hardcore chess fanatic uh as those uh who know me may know um and that was actually one of my least favorite parts of the book i still enjoyed it uh but the stuff on checkers and the stuff on go and the stuff on even scrabble were just fascinating um great great book uh if you're into games uh of any kind I would highly recommend it. So that uh, pleasantly surprised me. Great book. All right, question six. What is a 2022 release that's already out and you haven't read yet but want to? I had to research this a bit um, because I don't really keep up with releases all that much. 
other than from my favorite, favorite authors. Um, I did find, um, and I guess this is a sci-fi series, um, but it's uh, basically about a ghost ship in space. Uh, it's called Dead Silence. The author is S.A. Barnes, who I've never heard of until I did this research. Um, it's essentially uh, billed as uh, Titanic meets The Shining. So, I don't know. Maybe that might be cool. All right, question seven. What is one goal you're succeeding at in 2022 so far? Um, you know, outside of keeping up with my reading goals, I'd say I'm, I'm on pace and or slightly ahead there. Uh, I did create the channel this year, um, despite all of the hesitation and uh, everything else indecision that went into that. Um, so I'm having a great time so far. I've got about 300 more subscribers than I expected to at this point. Uh, my subscriber counts 308. So thank you to all that have subscribed. I really appreciate it um, and watch the content. So um, yeah, it, that that's what I'm most succeeding at, I suppose. And then the next question, question eight, what's one goal you uh, made that you want to focus more on? I didn't make it until I read the question, uh, but I need to be more consistent with uh, making videos, editing, and putting them out in a uh, <laughs> in a decent amount of time. And if I can post more consistently, that'd be good too. Uh, if I can just, you know, set a schedule for myself where I'm posting videos on certain days of the week, that would uh, probably help me out. So, and if you enjoy the channel, it'll probably help you out too. So. All right, question nine. Uh, are there any new booktubers you've come across that you want to promote? Uh, yes, there are. Um, so most of these people I have uh, interacted with uh, quite a bit, and uh, I comment on their videos, they comment on mine, which is nice. Uh, one of them I know in real life, which is cool. So uh, definitely uh, I'll have all these uh, linked in the description, but uh, you got read by Kyle. Uh, it's Kyle. He uh, is the one that tagged me. Uh, great channel. Um, very great uh, and in-depth reviews. I really enjoy uh, his take on books. You got my guy RJ over at RJ Gibson. Um, he has just started a new segment uh, for weekly updates and things. Uh, he and I were going to buddy read a book. Neither one of us really enjoyed that book very much. I finished it. Uh, he didn't. And I don't blame him. Uh, I didn't think it was great. I'll talk more about that in my monthly wrap-up. Uh, you got uh, my friend Jack over at Jack and the Bookstack. Uh, she does some fantastic reading vlogs. Reads a lot of stuff I don't, uh, which is fine. A lot of romance, a lot of, um, I don't know, uh, romance, uh, which is fine. Uh, so I enjoy her take on reading. You got uh, a newer guy, Tall Guy Reads. He's fantastic. Um, reading some really good stuff right now and, and just created his channel. And then uh, she's been on here for about a year, I think, but uh, Grace Dion, uh, Grace over Grace Dion, um, I really like her take on, on stuff. Um, she's going through Wheel of Time for the first time, so it's kind of fun to see her journey through that, um, among other things. She is discovering uh, audiobooks for the first time, so uh, it's kind of fun to see her uh, do that. So uh, those are the questions. Um, I will tag a couple people in the description, probably folks that uh, I know haven't done this tag yet. But uh, other than that, I just wanted to throw a quick one together and talk about my year so far. So I'd love to hear about your year so far. Uh, thanks for tuning in and have a great day.